Hi, it's Nikisha Lovelace. Hope all is well with you at this moment. Be sure to seek, accept, and obey our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who died for our sins, rose on the third day, defeated death, just like we will live eternal life with Him in heaven. Okay, so I'm going to read um, Obadiah. I'm going to read from the NIV Bible. I'm going to read some of Obadiah. Alright, so let's see where I stop, okay? Obadiah's vision. Remember everyone, please, remember to bring everything to the Lord in prayer, okay? Remember to seek Him and ask Him how to fast, how long you should fast, okay? Fast and pray, people, alright? So you could get closer to God and He could reveal what He needs to reveal to you. You dedicate your time to Him, alright? So you'll be emptied out so He can fill you up, right? Okay, so Obadiah's vision, the vision of Obadiah. This is what the Sovereign Lord says about Edom. We have heard a message from the Lord. An envoy was sent to the nations to say, Rise, let us go against her for battle. See, I will make you small among the nations. You will be utterly despised. The pride of your heart has deceived you. You who live in the clefts of the rocks and make your home on the heights. So you who say to yourself, who can bring me down to the ground, though you soar like the eagle and make your nest among the stars? From there I will bring you down, declares the Lord. If thieves came to you, if robbers in the night, oh, what a disaster awaits you. Would they not steal only as much as they wanted? If grape pickers came to you, would they not leave a few grapes? But how Esau will be ransacked, his hidden treasures pillaged, all your allies will force you to the border, your friends will deceive and overpower you, those who eat your bread will set a trap for you, but you will not detect it. My, my, my. In the day, in that day, declares the Lord, Will I not destroy the wise men of Edom? Those of understanding in the mountains of Esau, your warriors, Teman, will be terrified, and everyone in Esau's mountains will be cut down in the slaughter. Because of the violence against your brother Jacob, you will be covered with shame, you will be destroyed forever on a day you stood aloof while strangers carried off his wealth and foreigners entered his gates and cast lots for Jerusalem. You were like one of them. You should not gloat over your brother in the day of his misfortune, nor rejoice over the people of Judah in the day of their destruction, nor boast so much in the day of their trouble. You should not march through the gates of my people in the day of their disaster, nor gloat over them in their calamity in the day of their disaster, nor seize their wealth in the day of their disaster. You should not wait at the crossroads to set down their, fugit their fugitives, nor hand over their survivors in a day of their trouble. The Lord, the day of the Lord, is near for all nations. As you have done, it will be done to you. Your deeds will return upon your own head. Just as you drank on my holy hill, so all the nations will drink continually. They will drink and drink and be as if they have never been. But on Mount Zion will be deliverance. It will be holy and Jacob will possess his inheritance. Jacob will be a fire and Joseph a flame. Esau will be stubble and they will set him on fire and destroy him. There will be no survivors from Esau. The Lord has spoken. All right, so 
I'm going to stop there. I stopped at verse 18. So Obadiah. There's only one chapter in Obadiah. I stopped at verse 18. You could read. It's only a little left. Um, 20, 19 to 21. All right. So let's stop for a minute and think. And what can we take from this, right? Because what do we do? We take the good. We apply it to our lives. And we learn from the bad and make sure we don't apply that to our lives, right? We, where we apply it in a way that we learn, right? We learn not to do certain things, right? We learn not to repeat um, things that we've done, bad things that we've done, bad choices or habits. Um, okay, so Obadiah speaks about the destruction of the um, Edomites who were the descendants of Esau, right? The brother of Jacob. Because of what? Their pride and the mistreatment of Israel. Okay? And then what, what does Obadiah also speak about? Restoration for Israel, right? Restoration um, of Israel and Mount Zion. Okay, so what we need to do is take heed, all right? Because everything that we do is written down, right? It's counted to repay us. We're going to get paid in full. With the good that we've done or bad. Right? And we want to make sure that we're not out here feeding destruction, feeding evil in the world. Right? So that God's going to pay us back with evil. God would, listen people, God will allow your enemies to take you over. You understand that? He will allow your enemies to take over. If you're not being obedient to God, you're going against His will for your life. And not only that, you're just out, out and about doing whatever you want and feeling that your sins are covered. People, we have to repent. We have to repent and get closer to God Every single day, no one, I repeat, no one is untouchable. You understand? You can't say, well, I'm clean and I'm pure and I'm blameless. And this means I can go out and do whatever I want because God's going to cover my sins. No, 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 people. You go to God daily and you check your life with God. God, do I have any habits then I need to separate from? Lord, show me my hidden faults. Show me sins that I'm doing and I, you know, unwillingly. I don't even notice that I'm doing something wrong, right? Sometimes it's just things that you're saying daily, saying to yourself, saying about your life, saying about other people, gossiping and slander. Okay? You might be practice impurity, right? Practicing being celibate, right? Separating from fornication and all of that. Fornication, masturbation, adultery, all of the above, right? You might be separating from drinking, smoking, anything that's going to separate your mind from God. But what are you doing? Probably cursing, or if you're not saying specific, how we would call it, curse word, bad words, you're probably saying negative things. You understand? Negative things is in your heart. So then it's your mind, is connected to your mind, body, soul, spirit, all in one. Okay? You might be doubting God. You might be doubting yourself. Right? I'm not good enough to serve God. I don't know if I'll ever get cl as close to God as I want. You know? Dooming your own life. So just be careful. You might be envious. Jealousy. Ha. Huh. 
this person has this or this is working for that one and why not me? You know, have a covetous attitude. Come on, people, be careful. So once again, go to God and be sure that you check yourself with him, right? Say, God, my life is in your hands. Lord, I'm asking you to help me. Show me the way, right? Every single day. And please reveal to me what I need to embrace and what I need to let go of God. Who I need to be amongst and who I need to separate from relatives and non-relatives, people. Be careful. All right? As if you go back to verse 15, as you have done, it will be done to you. Your deeds will return upon your own head, people. Okay? Be careful. All right? And God will protect you and he will guide you. You make sure that you're not wandering away from God. That's the problem with us. We wander away so quickly. And then we're shocked when we get ourselves into a mess, right? We wander off from God. All right? And we block God with many things that we do. So be careful. All right? And listen. Listen to the Lord when he guides you. Sometimes he guides you to certain messages you don't want to read or you don't want to share. But it's what's needed to hear. Right? Warning of destruction. All right? Sometimes God's, God will punish us. Allow our enemies to take over. Sickness could take over. Even death, people. All right? So be happy that you're alive today. Okay, once there's life, there's hope. You're alive, you could get closer to God right now if you make up your mind. You could continue to learn, right? Grow closer to Him. He has you. And you have a chance to repent of anything that you've done. All right? God is good. And God is righteous. He is pure. Okay? So let's continue to learn and grow. All right? And Esau's descendants were all taken out because of their wicked hearts. They were too prideful. All right? And as you see, it says, don't taunt. Don't go and taunt anyone, right? Even if you feel like they deserve this. That person deserved to get hurt. That person was so evil and wicked. Don't go taunt anyone. Because at the same time, you could have something that you need to be working on right now. But you're too busy pointing fingers, laughing at other people, getting their destruction when yours is on its way as well. Be careful. Don't boast. Don't gloat. Okay? Just learn to be humble. Learn to be humble. And let's get closer to God, people. Let's get closer to God. My, my, my. Go back and read it for yourself. Obadiah. Obadiah's vision. Okay? My, my, my. Go back and take it all in. Right? And as well most know, for those who do not know, Esau and Jacob, they were brothers. Right? And Jacob was younger than Esau. Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, was younger than Esau. And God chose to use him. Right? And after Jacob, it was who? Joseph. My, my, my. Joseph. Who had all these brothers who hated him. Listen, people. No matter what you go through, right? You may have every one of your relatives turn against you. Remember that whatever God, what 
whatever position God leaves you in, he's going to take you out of it as well. He might leave you there as a lesson learned, right? Learning lesson. Leave you there to teach you, to build you up. You understand? You may feel down, but you're actually getting built up little by little. Because God has so much to teach you. Okay? And then he's going to exalt you. You don't exalt yourself. Wait for God to exalt you. He has to work on you first. Then he's going to exalt you just like Joseph. Right? His brother sold him as a slave. My goodness. He had all this punishment for what? <laughs> you understand? <laughs> okay? And then he was ruler. And forgave his brothers and took care of all of them. So don't hold any resentment in your heart. And leave the punishment in God's hands. Right? Leave all the punishment in God's hands. If you're like, oh, that person did this and that to me. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, they deserve this. Fast and pray. And leave them in God's hands. All right? Let God teach you what you need to learn and how you should deal with others. And he'll help you to set up boundaries as well. So it doesn't continue to happen to you over and over, right? You're separate from the chaos and the drama so that God can work on you. Because God needs your undivided attention, right? God bless you all. Let's learn what we can learn. And, um... I always say comment below, right? After you read, comment below. But um, if that's if you're able to. Some of my videos, you're not able to comment below because YouTube um, turns off the comments. So if you're able to comment below, comment below. God bless you all. Thank you for all your love and support. For whoever wants to bless the ministry, if you have the means to do it, I'll put the links either in the comments or in the description. Um, it's greatly appreciated. God bless you all. Let's continue to learn and grow together. Right? The body of Christ. God bless you all. Take care. Until next time.